camera, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own do-it-yourself photography reflector using only a couple dollars worth of materials and if you already have this stuff at your house then you've already paid for it and it's going to cost you nothing. Now before you look at this weird looking thing that doesn't look very promising, I'm going to put a couple pictures up on the screen right now. The before picture on the left is a picture I took without using this reflector outside on kind of an overcast day with a bit of sunlight and the picture right next to it on the right that says after I took right after the first picture was taken using this reflector and as you can see it's really brightened up the picture brightened up my doll's eyes and it just looks a lot better and I use the exact same camera exact same camera settings for both pictures so you don't have to go out and buy like a $40 or even an $8 reflector yourself. You can just make one your own. If you don't know what a photography reflector is, it's basically something that you use when you're taking photos. And in this case, I'm taking pictures with my dolls. But in other cases, a lot of the time it's used in modeling with people. And basically it reflects the light that isn't hitting the subject back onto it. So a lot of the cases, if you're taking pictures of like a person, or in this case again with a doll, you'll be able to shine the light back onto their face where it's missing so you can brighten up the eyes and brighten up their face because the light may be hitting the top of their head or everywhere else, but it might not be coming back to them. And it's a great way to kind of soften the light without making it too sharp. But first I'm going to show you how to make it and then I'm going to show you how to use it in case you don't know and at the end of this video I'll have a slideshow of pictures that I took with this reflector so that you can see the great quality. In this tutorial all you're going to need is a sheet of bristle board or cardboard and this is kind of like a foamy thick piece of bristle board. Anything that's nice and sturdy will work. This one is about 20 inches or 51 centimeters wide and about 30 inches or 76 meters tall so like this would be the height and that would be the width the bigger the better because it reflects more light and especially since we're only using tin foil it's going to work a lot better than if you just had like a little tiny reflector even if your subject is small like my doll's only 18 inches tall but this reflects light onto all of her so that works very well you're also going to need some tin foil doesn't matter what brand and for the side to use there's kind of like a softened, I guess, side, and then one that's more shiny and mirror-like. I use the more shiny and mirror-like side. And you're also gonna need some tape, doesn't matter what kind, scotch tape, duct tape, whatever. I just use scotch tape because I needed to tape a bit on the front side of the reflector rather than on the back, and I didn't want to cover up too much of the reflectiveness. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna cover tin foil all over the one side of your reflector. I just, what I did was I stretched it out, covered the first side, um, bent it over the sides, and then taped it on the back, and I needed about three pieces of tin foil kind of stretched along. So this is my reflector once I've put all the tin foil on it. As you can see on the back, I've just folded over the tin foil and taped it to secure it. And on the front, there's just a few pieces of scotch tape in the middle to Sure that it stays on but for the most part it was pretty simple and try not to crinkle it too much because it's easier to rip and also the less it's crinkled the more it'll reflect easier and so that's all you have to do and now we're gonna head outside and I'm gonna show you how to use the reflector okay, so now that we're outside I have my doll standing up on a piece of foam just so that she doesn't fall over because the grass is kind of uneven. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fancy reflector and I always lean it up against my tripod if I'm using one or just against myself if I'm in front of her. But what you wanna do is you want to lean it up underneath kind of at an angle so that the light will come down here, reflect off and then onto her. And you can adjust it, you can do it either way. And you just take your pictures. So normally I'll stand like behind here and we'll lean over or I'll have it lower and kind of like lean it down or up. Normally I will go and put the doll in the shade. If you 
guys have any more questions, feel free to comment them down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe so that you can see my new videos every single week. And go follow me on Instagram, which is summer underscore evergreen, to see some more glorious pictures. And I also have a Twitter, which is at summer studios AG, and you can go follow me on there. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So there's the table and then the two drawers, and you can stack them on the tables and unstack them. And I just have them unstacked. And here.